Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a craft with you guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to make a grape uh, vine wreath moon. So what you need is any size grapevine wreath. I got this from uh, Walmart for not that much money. Um, so you're going to, so the circle, right? You want some type of cutters and you want to cut about three fourths of it off. So you cut about like right there. So you want to have your ends like that. So you want to cut this off. So let's do that. Uh, you can get these grapevine wreaths from the dollar store. You can get them from the craft store, from Walmart. Um, I've even went outside and picked grapevine grapevine wreaths or, or grapevine from the trees. And uh, actually, let me show you those. Look at these. These are actual grapevines. So I made these. Um, from the grapevine that was in the uh, black walnut tree. It was on the side of it. This was just one big, huge vine. And I cut it up and I'm going to, I'll show you guys how to make something with that in another video. But for right now, you need some wire uh, to secure the ends. So first let's cut the rest of this off. These are really pretty to hang pretty much anywhere in your house. Um, but I like to hang them in the window. I'm going to make this one like a witchcraft theme, almost like a, um, a from with the symbols of Hecate. Okay, so now that you got your two pieces, you want to take the smaller piece and you're going to kind of fit them end to end like this. So then you have a moon. Uh, and you can, you can trim away a little more uh, if you need to, if you don't like the shape of it. If you want like a skinny moon, you can do something like this. Oh, that one's really cool. Um, just as long as you get the general shape. And then uh, you take your wire. So I've got this 20 gauge, um, let's see, silver plated, uh, silver plated copper wire. And I'm just gonna get a good size piece. And what I do is you take the ends and it's actually better if you um, kind of make a little loop on one end. So there you got a loop. So I'm going to do a little bit down from the and I just go right up through the little twigs and your little loop on the end should, uh, what you do is just like <clears throat> make a little kind of wrap it around the end there and then you can wrap it. You want to wrap it fairly tight and then go back up through so that it is just like as secure as possible. And 
and then uh, I wrap it around one or a few sticks on their own. It's good to use your your pliers and stuff so you can get a good a nice good tight wrap. I like to put the little swirls at the end of my wire because it is good for a place to like hang little crystals or something or you can just uh, uh, finish it off it however you want. So I'm going to I didn't do that the right way. That's okay. So I'm going to make my moon like this shape. Or should I do a fatter one? You could even do a fatter moon to kind of represent the different phases. So I'm going to wrap this up the same way I wrapped up the top and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've got it fastened, I don't like, I'm going to do a little trimming right here because I don't like how long that is. So, I'm going to trim this up. Oops. <laughs> so, there we go. That is our base. And then from this point, you can really decorate it any way you want. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one simple uh, and do just a few things. So first what I'm going to do is make a hook. This is, I think, like 12 or 18 gauge wire. This is usually what I make my hooks from. Uh, and the way I make the hook is, well, first I want to, well, I can push it through there. So you curl one end. And then you take something that is the thickness that you want it. The thing I usually use is not in here, so uh, I'll use my pestle. So just kind of wrap it like a, uh, so the, it's like a question mark on one side. There you go, and then you just clip off the excess of that, and you got you a S hook. And then with this, you can you I'll use um jump rings to attach. Well, actually, I might not need a jump ring. See if I can do this without a jump ring. There we go. And voila! So it's hanging like that. So I'm going to decorate this and I will show you guys when I'm done. Alright, you guys, I am finished with it. I might add a little, a few more things, but for now, this is what it has on there. And I put just some cobalt blue beads on there sporadically with the evil eye. I really like how it turned out. I like the simplicity of it, but like I said, I'm probably going to add more to it. So if you want to see the complete finished product, you can follow my um, Instagram at hallowed, hallowed prism. So I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you make one for yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye.